last repair for the day and I picked a package at random big bus is already gone so I picked a small package and customer mailed over this padded plastic bag inside this yellow envelope and I like this plastic bag it has a zipper in the front so rather than going like this you have a zipper and you have a pouch in the front with the customer's ticket information nice Let's read what the customer wrote. Okay, so it looks like an iPad mini too. I removed bad charge port, but I cannot align and solder a new charge port. I will send the iPad mini 2 mainboard only to be soldered. Straight to the point. Customer attempted to replace the charging flex cable on the iPad mini 2 and he failed. He was not able to properly align and solder the port. So he mailed over what looks like the motherboard. And we have a bag here, two charging flex cables. And I see a motherboard. Hopefully we do not have any missing pads on this board. And based on first impression, I do not see a Hiroshima. I do not see any missing pads at all. Great job, great job. The pads are already clean. So the customer was not able to properly align and solder the charging flex cable. Let's go ahead and do it together and see how it's done. And we will call it off for the day. So here we have a new charging flex cable right here. And this one looks like it's been used, right? The customer attempted to solder the far left and he stopped. Let's take a look at the other port. Is this one the same? And that's a brand new one. Great. Now, if you look here, we do not have windows on this side of the connector and on that side of the connector. Usually, the cables, they come with a window, so we can align the window with those, with this and this. But the question is, why don't we have any windows? Oh, here, we do have a window here and a window here. Look, look at this but the windows are not open from the back. Maybe we can open them. And how would we open up this window? The grinding pan is too big. Look at the size of the grinding tip. And that's a very fine grinding tip. Those holes are extremely small. Let's see if we can put a hole using my ultra fine tweezer, but I do not want to mess up my tweezer because the cable costs a lot less than what a tweezer costs. Okay, I was able to put a hole. Very nice. And we can do the same right over here. So now we have two holes. And let's see if we can align this connector see how we have two holes now? And now we should be able to properly align the connector. Look. Top and bottom. I'm going to add flux. And we can tell we are aligned on the right and left. We can press and hold that cable. And we can solder that connector. We can apply more solder. But I just want to stabilize the cable.
and we're gonna use this solder ball to spread solder all over and then we can take it out nice trick right I'm pressing down on the pads not too hard and not too soft I want solder to flow from the top to bottom and we are done that's it a nice end of the day repair and you can tell how we are perfectly aligned by looking at the sides here by the window that we punctured right here and right here and that's how it's done beautiful beautiful short video i know you're gonna hate me for this but what can you do let's go ahead and test and make sure that we did a good job i'm using a tristar tester and we want to see a pass right there we have a pass and we have a pass on all the lines awesome awesome let me know what you think leave it down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video